I, I can appreciate why most people would be like, how are people spending thousands of dollars and now today hundreds of thousands of dollars on these JPEGs. The whole concept of buying something and owning the intellectual property I found super interesting. By, by collecting NFTs from an artist, you're supporting his career and like his vision for the next years. It's like if you're becoming part of the artist. When you invest in an artist, you're basically investing in like a person's life because it's going to be like a lifelong journey for both of you guys, like the collector and the artist. Getting this cat that somebody else had bred, that somebody else had named, and having it and knowing that they had given that thing up and now I had it, that I felt a connection to the community in a way that I don't think I ever could have otherwise. That you, me, the creator, realized that when I actually owned it, it was it changed the way I thought about it. And I think that there's fundamentally something about experiencing a technology, and it's really hard to put into words that notion if you haven't experienced it yourself. I do think like buying these blue chip like artists and like NFTs, to me it feels like buying the first like baseball card. So the CryptoPunks are one of the very first NFT projects ever created. A lot of people treat these things as having historical value, right? You know, there are 10,000, you know, avatars. There are little like 8-bit pixel art avatars. You know, when I got into space, um, the price of the CryptoPunks went from, I don't know what it was, like $2,000 to I think like $20,000. CryptoPunk was really the, the first NFT I was seeing like as profile pictures on Twitter. And I was just like, so interested into why did they purchase that? NFTs are, represent digital ownership, right? This is something, this is a brand new concept that most people have never ever experienced before. For me to have such a strong emotional connection to what this was, outside of the value, right, you know, it meant that, you know, other people were having exact same experiences, you know, around the world too. And I started kind of like, you know, building up my own persona and my, my identity around this and, you know, in the NFT space, you know, kind of what projects you kind of are a part of, uh, they, become, they become a representation of you, right? And so this became sort of my online persona representation of who I am online. Late last year, someone offered me, you know, a pretty large sum of money to buy my CryptoPunk, and I rejected the offer, right? I think that a lot of people conflate that, you know, people are just buying these things just to make money off these things. But for me, that wasn't the case. For me, this was, you know, something that represented my identity that I plan on using going forward in, in the NFT space. And you know, that's when I discovered you know, the true power of what NFTs were. If someone was looking at the Board Ape Yacht Club for the very first time with limited knowledge of NFTs, they would see these JPEGs of these just really funny looking apes that look extremely bored. <laughs> and they've kind of become the blue chip NFT project that a lot of people are looking to looking at as an example of what can be done. My name is Ashley Smith uh, from Vancouver, Canada, and I'm also known as Board Becky in the NFT community, which may sound a little strange, but I do kind of play as uh, my board ape in the NFT community. So most people know me as Becky. <laughs> Originally, I looked at her as a character I created that I could use as kind of just a way to engage. I originally thought of her as sort of this elder millennial kind of satirical ape influencer, which I know sounds pretty crazy, but I just thought of like, what's a 90s girl name who would hang out at the mall? <laughs> I wanted like her to be culturally relevant. And I think that's one of the reasons she's kind of stood out amongst some of the other apes is because she really has built this like weird personality. This project has become something so much bigger than I think most of us early on ever could have imagined. There's just so many people that have been around in this community since the beginning that have done so many cool things that are innovating. And I feel like so many board apes board ape owners are the ones that are starting to shape what this space is going to be and now as celebrities are buying and more public figures are buying it's it's really it is weird it's a bit surreal you're kind of weirdly connected to these people who are in many ways many worlds away there's this unspoken connection between people who are part of it the the sense of camaraderie that happens both in digital and physical has really blurred. I've never been so attached to a group of people whom I've never really met. 
I, I, I love when people collect my art because like it, it allows me to connect with new people that like I normally wouldn't meet in real life. You know, as things started snowballing and getting bigger and bigger, it became more about community, right? And now we have these like massive communities of people who are just gathered around, you know, various projects, right? So many bright minds, so many creative and curious minds, which I think is actually the foundation for this space right now are people just looking to see what they can do and what they can create. Ultimately, I think Web3 is going to impact everything we do. We're not there yet, but it's fun to be part of like the very beginning.